I have salutations, this is something awful, and welcome back to Let's Play Mar Luigi and Mario Superstar Saga. In the last episode, this happened, and our ship started blowing up. And now, we will find out the exciting conclusion to that cliffhanger from last time where this happened. Yeah, I actually re-recorded that fight so I could show this again, because this, this is still live um, commentary, and a massive explosion was cited with confirmation needed. And yeah, I'm not actually pressing anything here, so... Basically, um, this part happens automatically. I think that's the first button here, yeah. So, yeah, that happens, and, um, I had to re record so I could show that because of where I outroed last time. Anyway, as a result, my health might be slightly off, but. Sorry about that, I'm still kind of sick, so I had to edit out some stuff. Anyway, we're now into the main game, and I'm going to save. So, um, more cutting immediately. Well, not yet, um, but now-ish, I'm going to cut. There we go, um, I'm probably not going to cut that one. Maybe I will, I don't know. All the Koopas are kind of dead, and they hadn't paid off the Koopa Cruiser yet, because clearly they have to pay it off. They... Aren't they a Koopa Kingdom? Anyway, yeah, Bowser's on the other side of the border, so let's go in here! Where we get our first real mini-game of the game! And the Mario Bros have arrived! Apparently that brings back memories. Anyway, I like the classic castle in the background, but, um... We're heading off on a journey... I mean, the Luigi Bros, not the Mario Bros, so they want to pass, but... Basically, we have to prove we're the Mario Bros by being really good at jumping, and we have to do this. So let's let's listen to another tutorial. Why not? And um, basically, we have to jump over the um rope until the time's up to win, and we can't screw up more than three times for either bro. So we can screw up a total of four times, but as little as two, and be safe. You know what I mean? Anyway, um. Let's have Luigi jump. It's not Luigi's turn yet, so Mario jumps with A, and Luigi jumps with B. <laughs> yeah, they don't jump in between the rest. Anyway, so yeah, we jump with the barrier, Rose and the. We yeah, have the roper. I mean, the royal borderline! Anyway, basically, let's practice. Anyway, Luigi. I should have screwed that up for more dialogue, but oh well. Now we get to him practice. Wee! This is really easy. <laughs> anyway, now we get to do the real thing. Yes, I'd like to do the thing. You have to do this, by the way, to continue the game. Mini game is indeed required. Anyway, basically, yeah, you have to dodge this attack, as I've already screwed up with Luigi, which is kind of. Pathetic, and you. Wow, I'm doing terrible. I used to be good at this mini game, well, particularly at the highest level one of it. Anyway, I'm surprised I haven't screwed up with Mario yet. Anyway, I made it. That was very pathetic. I don't know how that proves where the Mario was. Then again, I guess everyone else would have screwed up three times in like the first four jumps. Anyway, let's keep going. Anyway, there's a mini game we can do if we go back in there. I'll be showing that off later when it actually has a point, because I don't want to fill this entire episode with mini games already. Also, we're gonna get interrupted anyway because we're the first people to cross the border ever. <laughs> so we get a map, which we can um show off here. So now we have this, which here's our lovely map. Um, there's start- this, we'll be going to most of these places. The Mushroom Kingdom is, um, north, um, north- wet- northeast of here slightly anyway. This pipe, basically it's a war pipe that'll let you go to places, but right now we only have the one in Stardust Fields. That way we can get back to this minigame easily later. But for now, let's go down here. Um, by the way, this place, Area 64, Area 41 reference, obviously in a Mario game. Anyway, basically, you want to jump over these things, or this will happen. Anyway, um, I'm gonna avoid 
combat completely for now. Like, for all I'm worth, I'm going to avoid the enemies, because, um, you don't want to fight them yet. They're going to be harder to dodge later in the game. Right now, they're really easy. I might go back and fight these later, but basically the reason I'm dodging them is, right now we have 108 coins. And those 8 coins are optional. You always have 100 now. But that's going to happen. And then we found Bowser. That's important. Anyway, he's kind of stuck. So you want to get him out of here. And then this guy's going to show up. And basically... Basically he's going to be like, Hey, I'm Polestar. Give me money. <laughs> basically. So we have to give him all our money. Anyway, we're going to give him all our money. Because you have to. Yeah, we're, oh, we have 111 because he jumped on on Bowser. He actually got coins from that. That's pretty great, actually. Unless that happened. Anyway, he's going to be like, These are Mushroom Kingdom coins. Hmm, I guess I can calculate the value. Now, he's not actually pressing the button, is he? It's worth 10 coins. Nice. Um, he needs 100 more. But he makes birds for us. So, now, we have zero coins. And I think any coin you collect before this point is a Mushroom Kingdom coin, so that's why I didn't bother um, fighting the things that I save, and I'll be right back as soon as it, um, yeah, I'll just... Saving takes too long. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna go this way. And then just continue along. We, I could go back and fight those guys. I'm not gonna let them overfight, though. I'm just gonna kind of hit this, but yeah, here you have to collect coins. So what I am gonna do is get into a fight immediately. I am gonna start cutting out fights once they become repetitive, which, like, so any, um, repeat battles where no new, um, attacks are shown off, or I, um, haven't, or some, if something interesting happens, I'll also show it, but otherwise I'm gonna be starting to cut out battles now. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm doing great here, this is exactly how I want this to go, because healing isn't that easy without mushrooms right now, anyway. Here we have one of these, now, how I normally do this, is I get into this position, because I have Mario in the back, pretty much exclusively, and I get into this position, and that way the buttons match where the block is, and you can get yourself a very good haul out of these, and now I have, um, 20 coins, so that's a good start. I, I can't get that blocks yet, um, that one has a coin in it, so now I have, what, 21? Wow, big deal. But yeah, you want to just collect coins. I think I want to go this way. Well, I can, so might as well. Yay, money, 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 money. Yeah, this is, um, not honestly the best way to start a game is by, like, hey, hey go gather coins, and I'm going to um, completely uh, avoid these guys. Because I'm going to have to be, did I have to go that way earlier? Anyway, these things, basically, I went through that really quick, but pot if you want to read the sign. Basically, you have to alternate A and B. Press the button of the lower bro, always. Anyway, these boxes, as I say, I like to have Mario on that side so Luigi can be in front on the side where the A button is. So A is going to be down first, right? Yes, A, B, A, B, A. Yeah, those things are kind of annoying. Anyway, I can't get up there yet. I can't get back. Oh, no. Now, actually, where I'm supposed to go is, um... I'm gonna not go up there yet, because I'm gonna completely say, Hey, I can't go forwards, because I can't make it up places. But, um, I'm still gonna avoid fighting if I can, because I haven't gotten the thing that makes fighting more worth it. Anyway, I want to go up here, though. Because this happens. And we get introduced to um, these characters, who are the ones who were um, observing us earlier, which they think it was an early bombardment. Bombardment. Perhaps! Sorry about that, just taking a drink. Um. Yeah, then they're gonna basically say, It's an unknown entry, it's green! No, it's red! And so... They're apparently gonna... I don't even know how to describe this scene. It's just so random. This whole game's kind of random and funny. It's kind of exactly what they went for in terms of the story, which is why I like it. 
Anyway, this is the part where Luigi's not very, um, good at mimicking them. Because he's like, okay, this is getting ridiculous, I'm gonna stop. And then they realize, it's Luigi! We must obtain autographs. And so, Princess Peach, you know, the usual plot. This is the priority, so they're gonna basically teach us about bros actions. And so, yeah, we're gonna learn bros actions. This is basically what you use on the field to maneuver it better. It's, um, nice little mechanic, so Luigi can, with... Yeah, Luigi can use Mario as a spring to jump up onto a high ledge. Basically, this text is gonna take forever. Also, there's another... Yeah, basically, yeah, you wanna do this. Bas I'll explain how I have this set up, because this game... I'll explain, but when I get there, um, no... No, I don't! I can't believe I held that that entire time. Anyway, basically, you want to press L, and then B, and then B. L, B, B. Yeah, there we go. Now, we want to not have repeat dialogue happen, and now we have to sit through this again. And yeah, if Mario's in the back, we can do the spin jump in which Mario holds out his hands like a propeller and Luigi gives us a massive spin so we can um, clear gaps, weirdly. And also, they're better at it than us. Anyway, yeah, um, no! Okay, so with Mario in the back, if we press R, we can do the spin jump. Excellent. Anyway, bros actions. Anyway, um, what R does, we'll get to. We can't. Yes, I'm ready to return. I don't want to read the dialogue again. Anyway, we basically need to get to this flag now. Now, what I normally do is, since R does nothing and L switches this, no, I want it like this. Okay, what I normally do is I leave this on this, and I hit R to go to spin jump or normal jump, and if I want to use this, I just press R and I'm there. That's how I do it. So now there's actually a reason to have Luigi in the back as opposed to in the front, but that being said, I'm still gonna mostly keep him in the front. Anyway, we got the flag. And now we can continue onwards! Yay! So we're gonna continue onwards. Also, if you hit Eleanor, they both go back to jump, but I pressed pause by accident. Um, but as you might have noticed, I completely missed the thing, so I get to go back up here. Exciting! Because I completely chose to ignore the fact that there was a box up here with just syrup in it. Which we still can't use, anyway, what we want to do now... Now we can actually continue down here, there's a save album here, I'm gonna hit it. Because apparently I save at every save album. Okay, anyway, um... No idea how I'm gonna fix the uh, audio here, but um, we want to um. No, these these controls are gonna take me a while to get used to. They're kind of awkward in this game, but um, apparently Mario's getting this box. No, I feel like start. I mean, like I get that um start is the more press button, which is why they did it like this. But um, I still feel like start should be the other one. Anyway, I want to now um. I'll eventually stop hitting that button repetitively now. I want to hit this. Go like this. But yeah, that's one of the things with this game. It's controls get confusing. There's, there's, there's no two ways about it. I didn't mean to fall down here. Actually, I kind of did because I need to do this and then I can get up here. And now, we are going to get the other mechanic, which I'm going to show off in the next fight, which we'll probably having right now is that we can use these techniques in battle, and this is our special attack. This is what the bros' points are for, and as you might have noticed, I'm completely skipping most of the battles, which I'll be doing less time, because I'm going to try and show off all the enemies. I'm probably not going to succeed if I um, stay, try and stay as underleveled as I seem to want to so far, because I'm doing a decent job dodging battles. But, um, basically, we're going to learn about bros' attacks now, so we can... Select Rose attacks. Yay! 
we are also these things have levels. I'll explain what those do when I get to it. Um, why can't I choose the level? Fine, I'll use level one. I will never use level one pretty much ever. Anyway, it grows dark. Um, basically you want to hit a. Okay. Yes. Anyway, I'll, I'll explain what what everything does soon enough. Basically, yeah, you want to, um, it's easier to explain when it's not doing slow motion unnecessarily. Wow, he's freaking out. Anyway, basically, there's three modes. I'm going to be pretty much always doing it on mode three. Pretty much. Like, unless I want to remember how to how to do the secret, then I'll go to mode 1, but otherwise I'm going to do pretty much all of them on mode 3. Anyway, um, yeah, mode 3 is basically, it has the red and green flashes, and that's what you have to use to remember. Alright, yeah, and you can learn advanced commands by doing it on level 3 well enough. So, I am going to be using them a fair bit. Basically, yeah, full gross point mana. Alright, and we don't even have to fight the thing. It's kind of funny. Anyway, so now I'm going to start fighting things, and I won't be cutting out the next battle because I want to show off the gross moves. Hopefully this has a new enemy in it. Yes, it does! Okay, um, back, bros. I'm going to use splash bros on this thing on level 3. So, basically, with good timing, when the flash shows up, you press the button and you try not to miss. Anyway, bullet bills just do that. That's all they do. Anyway, you want to jump on this thing and not fail, so let's show off Bounce Bros. Um, I think it's B, A, B. I messed that up anyway. Anyway, let's try this again. I'm going to try and show off 16 at one of them. A, B, A. I keep pressing it too early. I'm overshooting it. Let's just do one more Bounce Bros. B, A, B. I am too slow. Let's try this again! I have to press- <laughs> It had one health left, anyway. As you can see, I'm terrible at them, but um, they exist. Anyway, I'll probably be cutting out any more battles I experience in this area, but um... That'll be happening next time, actually. Maybe, um, yeah, I'm, I kinda wanna- yeah. That'll be happening next time! In the meantime, I'm gonna kinda hide in this corner. This is something awful, I have signed out! See you all next time!